You already know what it is. It's your boy LAK. I'll let your boy. Yeah. As the uh, wind blows and the breeze, I'll let your boy. Looking extra minty outside. Looking extra minty outside. Looking at the trees. You know. Painting from a blank canvas. The world is what you want it to be and what you make of it. And the body's a canvas. And the mind's a canvas. And your eyes and your mind is projecting what you want to bring to reality. You understand? So there's always going to be a, a blank canvas of... Um, the masterpieces that you want to paint, but it's up to you to see it in your mind first to make it come to life. about uh, making it happen. You keep the mind going. And, uh, time is not the master. what you do with the time that allows you to master the space within time so you can shape things around you so that you can live within the architecture of how you design things. You feel me? Design yourself and how do you design yourself? You design yourself in your mind. those things learn step by step how to make those things formulate into who you are and what fits your formula in your existence in that space and time so that time equates with your space in the sense of how you utilize that space of um, existence in the time frame that you make up based off your uh, goals, wanted achievements, and um, aspirations and desires.
There's gonna be so many ideas. So many ideas. But how do you implement those ideas? How do you implement those ideas? So many topics of uh, conversation of what is explicit in the um, realm of conversation and conversing and music art form. And um, we're starting to see what is um, art imitating life or is life imitating art, you know? And you have to be wise enough and aware enough to embrace your experiences so that you know how to express them. And there's a way of expressing them in ways that you want your audience to accept or you want to your audience to be introduced to ways of expressions that they haven't looked at from that perspective. All right? So why are you looking at things from a different perspective? Um, there's always going to be a challenge of the perspective. But once you do your due diligence, you'll be able to express your expression or live with expressing yourself knowing that there are going to be ones that get it and there's going to be ones that don't. And it's not always up to you to define your expression, right? It's not always up to you to define that. Not always up to you to clarify the clarity of what you're talking about because people are always going to think from their own perspective of how they digest certain information and the way you digest your information is going to be based off of what you were taught and what you were willing to learn on how to accept the information that's being given, you feel me? And if you want to accept the information being given, you feel me? So that's why lyrics is so clever. And lyrics is so, um, we're not gonna say lyrics, we're gonna say, language and lexicons so, so that you understand how to communicate with people at different levels. I'm not saying that 
someone may be smart, it's just awareness. You know, you're gonna talk to a baby a certain way, you're gonna talk to your pets a certain way, you're gonna talk to your parents a certain way, you're gonna talk to your teacher a certain way, you're gonna talk sports a certain way, you're gonna talk music a certain way, you're gonna talk body language a certain way, you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna learn how to communicate those things with certain demographics and certain audiences so that you can deliver your message or communicate in the circle of um, understanding so that you know where your message wants to be received. me So, I'm not gonna wait to do a workout and then pause and then do another workout. When I'm done doing the workout, I'm gonna transition to the next workout so that I'm utilizing my time in a way that I can get my work done in a faster time increment that I allow to put on my space, right? As far as when and why and how I want to get stuff done. So that now that I know that if I'm putting myself within a scheduling time frame, I can get certain things done within the time capacity that makes me evolve um, at the speed that works for me at the same time, knowing that I'm gonna have to implement these things <clears throat> and make adjustments in the industry that I'm working towards and I wanna belong to.
feel me? So I'm utilizing this workout to expand my body in ways that I know I can achieve because I've done it before. And I'm making use of the time within a time space period so that I can um, achieve and break barriers and limits. Can't get better um, with the mental capacity of having barriers even if there are barriers and walls around you, the mind has to think beyond the architecture of capacity so that you can be unlimited on the resources and sources of energy that you possess. So, you know, I am a canvas for ambassador opportunities so that one can be a, a billboard <laughs> to become an asset to other companies and brands that I consume and um, I either admire their work, their representation as a company, their fashion style, the uh, utilization of the products. So, put myself in a position to be a billboard of um, excellence. Luxurious lifestyles, high quality fashion, you know, creativity, you know, how to express one's existence through um, artistic expression. You know, we're getting, getting bigger and better as we speak without the fear of failure, right? Because failure isn't just uh, doing something wrong or making a mistake, stuff like that. It's not even that. It's just learning how to adjust and get better every single time you put in the, uh, the grind so that you can get better results. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, always get better results um, knowing that 
you can uh, utilize the time to see the results that you desire to see without just having it as a desire. How do you deal with pain? How do you deal with um, the illusion of quitting? You do the work. You take the shot. You lift the weight. You get up and go to the destination, you feel me? You say to yourself, okay, how do I not exude my energy? How do I know when to be like, okay, um, I've reached a stage, not a limitation, I've reached a stage of where my body's telling me, yo, you did the work, allow yourself to rest and allow yourself to grow into the image of who and what you desire to be and the results that you desire to get. Also, with having a mindset pushing a limitation that you placed upon yourself. So I was saying, add the weight or add a mile. You know what I'm saying? Add an extra minute to the beat. Add the extra work that you need to put in uh, to a uh, get it in you feel me add that add that work you feel me apply it apply it baby apply it, apply it. add that work you feel what I'm saying because how would you know how would you know Sometimes you're not gonna have people there to spot you. You're not gonna always have people there to spot you. So how would you know? Shoot an extra hundred jump shots. You know? Shoot a certain amount of jump shots. They ain't having goals, okay? Okay, I'm gonna make 10. Right? Then you say, I want to make 10 in a row. Boom. Then you say, I want to make 10 all net. You feel me? And I want to make 10 all back row. Right? And I want to make 10 pull up, dribble, cross over, back row. And I want to take 10% of my income and apply it to these stocks. Every time I get a certain amount of bread. Well, let me put that. Let me put that to the side. Let me put that to the side. Let me start that. Let me invest my time in building up my catalog 
for my uh, multimedia endeavors. You feel me? Let me add a freestyle to my catalog. Let me use the vocabulary that I just read from a book or watch the uh, tutorial and throw that in my rap so that I can expand my vocabulary and talk with meaning and be able to um, speak with um, definition in relaying your message like how am I going to speak to uh, people so that they understand where I'm coming from or understand the message or you know so that it's not like yo I don't get what you're saying you're talking in code or uh, you're talking in code you just um have to expand um, the different language barriers that keep us out the loop of um, getting to our destination of desire. You me? So, we're not gonna cuff, right? The energy, the information. <laughs> Cause it's one of abundance. You feel me? It's one of abundance. When it's one of abundance, you gotta become that. And when you become that, you can um live through that and not be limited in saying, okay, someone's saying, well, you should be satisfied with this, or you should be satisfied with this amount, and you should be satisfied. No, I don't wanna be satisfied because once I'm satisfied in the sense of um being content in the growth of who I am and my higher calling and who I desire and aspire to be, I can't work in that capacity of being limited and being um, put in confinement of barriers and walls that one must um, break down and stampede through and break through all the time because In, in the sense of abundance, in the state of abundance, that's where I work best. And not in the state of lack. You know, lack only makes... Um, lack channels a different energy source, which is in your gut. For your gut become your brain. Because it's like you got to find your way out of a situation. But that's not always a safe place to be. 
Because in the state of lack, you have desperation. And you don't want to be in a state of desperation. You want to be in the state of abundance so that you can continue to create abundantly, talk abundantly, live abundantly, speak abundantly, be around abundance so that you don't have to um, live in a state of despair, right? And the people around you will understand your abundance and welcome the abundance mindset so that it is uh, uh, virally accepted and it becomes the norm in a state of if I'm abundant and you're abundant, then we don't have to be desperate of one's abundance because each abundant situation is abundantly expressed and lived based off the desires that each person wants, right? And having the adultness to say, I respect your abundance, you respect my abundance, I respect your abundance, and we could live in this um, circle of abundance or this abundant, um, uh, abundant demographic and geography of lifestyle, livestock, and um, unlimited uh, potential of results, success, and evolution. Feel me? Yeah, so there's abundant ways of getting it done. You know. Being able to express yourself. Say music and stuff like that. Categorizing oneself. And putting yourself in a genre and category. Doing all those things. And my path was unique because I had to be in situations of survival, being in situations of um, opportunity. And sometimes the opportunity wasn't, wasn't the one that it was drawn up in the sense of like, okay, I rap, but the opportunity presented myself where someone needed assistance in writing a pop song or an R&B song or Someone needed an engineer and stuff like that. So I had to equip myself in an abundance mindset of thinking of, okay, okay, uh, sometimes I ain't have all the funds to book a session. So let me take this funds and go go to a school and learn the trade of becoming an engineer and go buy a book that taught me to engineer. Let me go invest in the equipment of, you know what I'm saying, becoming that so that when I'm in the industry, right, I can make the engineer's life easier, right? I can uh, utilize my time to where if I'm booking a session or engineer can't make it or they're late, I jump on the boards or I can have someone work the boards for me, right, while I'm giving them instructions on how I want to paint my image, you feel me? And then it becomes a team effort and I can still utilize and paint the picture that I want to based off of the abundant mindsets of skills, trades that 
I was able to acquire on my path, you feel me? And also still have the the, um, the, the, the mindset of how can I utilize someone who's better at that skill, right? To make my skill look better um, than what I could imagine because they also put in the time and effort based off of um, what they wanted to achieve and acquire and stuff like that. So they've been placed on my path and we have like-minded um, concepts and abilities that could transition my craft onto a platform of excellence and greatness. So I had to learn sometimes how to um, be the fly on the wall you know, run an errand, you know, um, sit in a session and just watch, you know what I'm saying, assist in a writing aspect of songwriting, um, making a beat, learning how to make a beat, learning how to sequence a beat. Learning how to pick out a beat. Learning to have the ability to make a decision of saying, no, nah, I don't want that. I don't want that song. I don't, I don't like that concept. Or I like that. Or I need that. You feel me? I had to learn that as well. So I had to learn uh, how to make things come to life and um, put in that time working effort. You feel me? Because when I'm putting in that effort, I'm investing in myself. I'm investing in my career. You know? I'm investing. You got it. You know? See that? The energy becomes come to fire with, you know what I'm saying? Get that work in, put that work in. And at that limitation, you don't stop. You don't stop. Mm -hmm. Feel me? So I'm exercising my mind. I'm exercising my abilities. I'm exercising my physicality. I'm exercising my decision making skills. I'm exercising um, my abilities to look at my decision making skills and improve them and see how I can improve my decision making skills every single time. Feel me? That's what I'm doing. Excuse me.
Yeah. I have to be in a state of doing things. I just do it. Feel me? And the, the victory is in that process of making a decision and uh, making things uh, happen even when you are surrounded by not people that don't really have the vision as you. That's why teams need captains and they need a leader, you need a general, right? Because you can see the potential in someone that they don't see in themselves. And you gotta see the potential in yourself. See the potential in yourself. And once you see the potential in yourself, you can uh, be the example of what those results look like so that you can uh, inspire people around you. So, um, an extended version of yourself. So the toughest part is going through those moments of like, oh, I feel pain and your body's adjusting and you start feeling certain things. And you're like, no, I can't do it. That's the moments when you go harder. Get it in. You feel me? Utilize that energy. You feel me? You make a mistake, you fall, you get back up. You feel me? Because that's that moment where you make the transition and the greatness. You feel me? That's that moment when all eyes is on you and you still gotta perform. You still got to put in that work and you still got to be the highest version of yourself. You understand? You still have to be that. You still have to become a key player in the circumstances that transition you to your goals into a stage of success. You have to be, because if you don't, you're not gonna know the different characteristics and capacities of who you are, you feel me? You're not gonna know that. And it's going to Paralyze your mindset, paralyze your abilities to even want to take 
those steps into becoming that of which you desire to be. Okay, how you hit that shot? I took it. Okay, how you made that pass? I watched great passes. Okay, how you dribble through that? I imagine myself in those scenarios just by dribbling the ball around. And I found drills, watch people who I admire great ball handling skills to make those moves. Okay, how you learn to rap like that? I just did it. I studied people who were um, in that arena that I wanted to be in, right? That I am in now. And I utilize what I seen from them, right? I study what uh, they did that made them get to that level based off what information what was out there, right? I put myself in those situations. I went to go shake someone's hand or get a business card or I asked a question without the fear of rejection. So. I still became, you know, the higher version of myself on different stages because I was willing and able to walk those blocks, those miles, and to speak to certain people. Um, in situations of wanting to gain knowledge and guidance in that realm of life. Most importantly, I asked for the guidance and the skills and the ability to be able to be a part of that process. So I, I ordained myself just by putting it in the atmosphere, right? Of who I wanted to be.
put myself in that space. I put myself in in the rooms and lock myself in rooms and read whole books, chapters after chapters, not knowing nothing about the information, but allowing myself to be a consumer and a digester of the information so that when I was aligned with the opportunity, like now, I'll be able to deliver a message and to express myself in a way that someone like myself coming up could be expedited and have a learning curve um, of um, experience so that they can get to their destination faster and also position themselves to position me if case may be, you know? Every day we got to make adjustments.
feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Don't feel me. Feel me. You already know what it is. Gotta get yourself in shape for those opportunities. <laughs> You already know what it is. Put yourself in shape. You already know what it is. Stamina got to be right just so you can think. And just so you could be, you know, a vessel for God. And the spreading of um, legacy information, knowledge, and um, experiences that evolve humanity. Gotta be healthy, healthy for your kids, healthy for yourself, healthy for your sex, healthy for um, your diet, healthy for your physicality of endurance and athleticism, healthy for your being able to be an asset in your workforce, you know, healthy for your mental clarity of just having a peace of mind, uh, healthy for uh, your community and your expressions and how you deliver your messages. Um, healthy in the sense of like, um, You just existing in different environments that is different from what you're used to and where you've grown up. That's that's something else too. That's something else because when you go from different countries and different state to state, everyone don't live the same. But you still got to be solid in the state of. Um, what you stand for, represent, and um, being yourself at your truest form, and also being able to adapt to other people's lifestyles, circumstances, and situations while you are evolving your horizons.
then sometimes you got to do the hardest part of the workout first and let that transition and carry over and trickle down into the easiest part so that you prepare yourself from the beginning to deal with the hardship so that in the end it's ease and once it's ease um, you'll be able to um, work in a capacity that's non-threatening and work at an excellent level that keeps you successful and keeps you um, positioning yourself for high results. So it makes it easier for yourself. Um, it makes it easy for I mean, break those barriers. Break those barriers. Channel that energy. Break those barriers. Pain is temporary. It doesn't exist. Someone taught you that. I roll with my kid. <laughs> and I challenge her. You know? I make her take steps. You know. Go further. You know, I walk. Uh, jogs, uh, walks, and um, because I had to do that, and that's how I learned. You feel me? So I had to challenge myself in ways that. coach wouldn't even challenge me because there were no coaches around, right? So we had to learn to 
coach ourselves. And um, thrive in the sense of survival because the dinner was achieving the goal, winning the game, or reaching a level that you desired, and it was just a thought in the beginning. See that? Still got hit your shot. Still got hit your goals. Still gotta cut through the wind so they can feel your drift. So when you're gone with the wind, they try to wonder how you so swift. You know? How are you swayed like the tree, but still keep your foundation? How do you expand like the branches and the leaves just by being still? Right? How can you be rooted, transported? to expand your foundation on different playing grounds and gardens, right? Of an ecosystem so that, that those trees, which are your offsprings, become an extension of your legacy, representation, and DNA of family tradition, a family bloodline, or um, a group that represents a certain way of thinking naturally so that you can um, thrive by having those implemented concepts and guides that are naturally who you are so that you can um, see within yourself, see within others, and see your way through life. Mm -hmm.
workout. You know? A workout. Mm. Stay challenged, stay beautiful. You want things to add to your workout, add to your mindset, add to your, your success. The awesome affiliates, click the link in the bio, scroll down. We got different products that you can be a part of and enhance your abilities, your financial state, your mental state, your health state. Um, leisure time, see where you fit in. And, um, Add those skill sets to your repertoire. You know, we also have products. We also have different uh, t-shirts, herbs, uh, sea moss, all those different things. The art gallery is popping. The music is popping. Tons of music. Tons of artwork. Uh, the everyday necessities. Arsons, late bloomers, you know, not late on arrival, you know, infinite in the growth and evolution of who you are. You already know what it is. It's us TV. I'll let you boy. Jazz America. Uh, subscribe, like, share, download new music, get better. Get bigger. Uh, you already know what it is. LAK, rage for the summer. Proud of you. Um, up, down, left, right, Sangria. Half a meal. Could we pop it in Finland? Um, it gets better and better. Book me now. Late Bloomers Music at gmail.com. You already know what it is. Sexy ladies, holla at your boy. Great workout. Jazz America. What's up? Jazz.